Hey, this is Tone and Dave here at Tone Devil Guitars. We're going to be talking to you guys today about a uh, recent build that we've um, cr just finished. Um, and it was commissioned by an uh, inspirational guitar player out of New York named Gideon King. Yeah, he commissioned this really fancy build, picked out some nice tone woods for it. We've got a lot of appointments we'll talk about. But he has this great uh, blog band he calls the City Blog. And uh, here's his band playing at a pub in New York. We had a great time producing this harp guitar for Gideon. And here he is with the finished product. called it a magnificent creation in that Instagram post there so I think he's pretty happy with it uh, here's a bunch of features of this instrument we got uh, asked to do a whole bunch of features on this particular build all in in one uh, in one package there arm bevel chest bevel super treble strings uh, sharpening levers uh, really fine tone woods some inlays so here you can see kind of the uh, blocking for the arm bevel on the inside there and there's a little bit of extra material you have to glue in there to uh, account for that. I also liked the chest bevel idea. This is the first time we ever did the chest bevel. You can see the walnut blocking that's exposed on the back, but really provides a lot of ergonomics for the instrument. Yeah, this is definitely something that Dave kind of came up with as an as a ergonomic feature for the harp guitar. Since he's played the harp guitar for so long, um, he's noticed that the one main feature that uh, would be nice to add is something to relieve a little bit of that pressure against your chest and your rib cage uh, holding that arm against your so, body. So this is our new uh, peg head design that allows a little extra room for the sharpening levers on the su sub bases there. You can see the extra thickness on the harp head, uh, the bridge pins actually protruding through the back, and uh, it just gives it a little bit more room to, for the hardware up at the harp peg head. Yeah, the peg head's shaped a little differently so that the uh, all the sharpening levers fit up there. These are the super treble strings and some of the uh, uh, designs that we came up with for the uh, inside of the body. The blocking. Uh, there's the block there for the uh, super treble. Zither pins. Zither pins. And then the sharpening lever hardware mounts there. And here's me tuning it up to test the half steps. There's an out of tune one. So a little bit of an adjustment here that can be made. I actually have to go and loosen the couple of mounting screws and, and shift the lever towards the pin. So they're an adjustable sharpening yeah. lever then. There's a little bit of room to adjust them, yeah. The height is part of the adjustment and then the length of the string. And I'm giving it a test run with my favorite swing tune. Yeah, I love the sound of the redwood topped harp guitar. So this uh, harp guitar was really a joy to uh, to complete and design all the features. There's some pictures of the um, the peg head inlay and the uh, fingerboard inlay, and the rosette inlay, the nice Ziplex abalone uh, ring around the rosette around the sound holes. And he had his band logo, GKCB, the Gideon King City Blog band inlaid as well. And uh, here's this a little bit of the finishing of the rim assembly. Yeah, that uh, Indian rosewood, really beautiful on there. Yeah, this build has turned out super nice. Um, this, of course, is our tu super treble tuner pocket design. Uh, there's the holes drilled kind of before the tuners get mounted in. And then uh, you just mount the tuners right in that block back there. The finished rim just ready before for the, the top. Yeah, just before the top gets glued on. And I think we got a shot of the bracing, the top bracing there, yep back bracing. Nice little marquee shot of the back bracing with the little curls of uh, wood that got stripped out. This is the uh, maple binding. I thought the maple binding really complemented the redwood top and the rosewood back and sides. You can see it in its case there. Yeah, the contrast of the binding just really pops the instrument out. All in all, turned out fantastic. Really thrilled how Gideon uh, commissioned this from us and how he plays it. 
forward to seeing hearing some more from him. Yeah, he looks like he gets a little more mileage out of those uh, super trebles than you do. <laughs> I can tell he's just in harp guitar heaven. This was the day he got the instrument, and the first few things he could play on it, I'm sure this was it. Yeah, turned out super nice. Thanks, Gideon. Really excited. Thank Looking forward to working with you again. Thank you, everybody, for checking in this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys next time.